Hey guys, welcome to the Fusion channel. And today I'm super excited to show you guys our carbon fiber department where we do all the carbon work. Uh, I wanna show you the different types of carbons that we do. We do two different types of carbon. We do some Kevlar. Uh, we do hybrid carbon Kevlar. I wanna go over it a little bit, explain to you guys a little bit how it's done. We'll show you guys videos, how we produce carbon. And uh, so you guys can see where a lot of our parts come from. They're all done in house. Uh, in a separate area, in our own building, all under one roof. And I uh, wanted to share with you like the different types of carbon that we do. So first of all, just to get you guys excited, we could do color carbon. We can do press carbon, like you guys see a lot on Lamborghinis and different parts. Uh, we could do hybrid carbon. That's where it's 50% Kevlar, 50% carbon. And I got all the materials here. And then when it comes to carbon, it's, it's endless. We could do, we can order the different weaves, different colors, oranges, anything you want. We can go ahead and get browns, blues. Uh, there's a lot of options out there. But pretty much on carbon, there's different types of carbons. There's people that do full carbon parts. Some people do fiberglass inlay. We only do full carbon parts. And we do two techniques of carbon. We do what we call infusion. Uh, infusion is where you lay uh, the dry materials that comes in sheets like that. And then you put it under vacuum and you vacuum bag it. And then you infuse the resin. It's a two-part epoxy resin through it. And that's how you wet the material. But it's still under vacuum, still keeps it light. And you make sure you have no air bubbles instead of like a wet layup like you do on fiberglass. The other materials that we use when we do more structural parts, it's called prepreg. Prepreg, the material comes to us with the resin already built into it. We lay it in there, we vacuum bag it, and then we bake it in the oven. Both materials get baked in the oven. The prepreg can handle higher temperature, and it is stronger and a little lighter. And more, you know, we use it more for structural. We do most of our parts in that, but we do have some parts that we still make and infuse, depends on the client. Also, if you have some older molds made out of fiberglass, you want to use infuse because it's a lower temperature product. Uh, we also do, like I said, the hybrid where it's 50% Kevlar, 50% carbon. It looks super cool. You can see some parts in the background. Other product that we do, we have actually have ballistic level Kevlar as well that we wet like this and that's what we do also in an infusion. And uh, this stuff is super, super strong, hard to work on with, but comes out pretty cool. Uh, we do some parts for that. Uh, if we do like a skid plate or we're trying to make something, make sure it doesn't penetrate, uh, we may lay uh, a piece of Kevlar in between and sandwich it between the carbon so we don't get any breakage. It could be on a bumper, on a hood, or if we want a lot of strength uh, to add to the part. Uh, so that's some of the parts we make. It's a Lamborghini uh, Huracan rear uh, uh, bumper. We have our light, uh, light bars that we use for the defenders. Uh, this is a new hood that we just did uh, for the 60, Four, all the way to 68 uh, Mustangs. It's a stock hood. We just did a stock hood that will be available on our website. If somebody needs a hood, it's a full carbon. Uh, this one we made with prepreg, super strong. And if we walk around, you guys can see uh, some of the bagging. Uh, the guys are out to lunch, so we took this opportunity to walk in the room. You can see some molds that we're making some uh, parts. Uh, this is going to our good friend TJ. Uh, for the Porsche projects, for the Baja Porsches. We're doing a, a, a run for him right now, some fenders for the Porsches, et cetera. Uh, and uh, this is the room where we lay up. Uh, real quick, what I want to show you guys is also how we get the pre-preg. The pre-preg comes in frozen, and we have to keep it inside a freezer to keep it fresh so it doesn't move on us. So you can see we have big freezers in here where you can see the rolls where we keep uh, the pre-break rolls. We got two freezers and we get them uh, fresh and then we use them. We take them out, we cut them, and then we use them and then we bake them. And then uh, from there, let me take you guys to our uh, uh, oven where we bake them. It's a vacuum oven where we pull vacuum on the part. 
and it has huge blowers that circulate the air about 30 times a minute. Uh, and then we have different sensors that looks at the parts and we can regulate the temperature on, on the part and make sure that the part gets to the right temperature and then we let it cool down. It's about an eight hour process usually of ramping up and going back down. And then when the part comes out, we demold it and we'll show some of that. We have, a, I think, a video that we can add of demolding the rear of the Eleanor, et cetera. Back here we have, uh, this is actually the mold for our Eleanor rear deck where the whole rear of the car is made one piece. This is a 14 part mold that we made in house. The mold is made out of carbon fiber. Uh, in the background, we'll show you guys a video of this machine running, but this is our five axis router CNC. It's a 24 by 12 by six feet uh, CNC and we can make molds out of foam. We can make uh, molds out of different materials. Uh, and that's where we do a lot of prototyping as well. And then from there, uh, this is our oven. So the oven that we have right now is, uh, is a 10 by 20. And the reason we went with the 10 by 20 because we can actually fit a full car in there. So when we do a tub or we do a bigger part, we can fit it in there and we'll show you guys some of the information on that. And we probably have videos of this running. And this is what I was saying. This is all vacuum ports that you could pull vacuum on the part. And then this is all temperature sensors where we actually put it on each individual part and then we can regulate the temperature of the actual part instead of just the oven. And then we demold it and then from there on the carbon, we take it to our, our uh, trim area. So you always have extra trim around the part. They trim the part and then they coat it in a matte clear or, or glossy clear, and then the part is done. Uh, this is actually the mold right here we walked by. This is the mold for that new hood, for the inner part of the structure of the hood for the 65 Mustang. Over here we got Jose prepping this part. So this is another rear deck. And this is the deck we told you guys for the Eleanor. The old deck weighs 32 pounds. Jose is doing a great job trimming it, cleaning it up and getting ready to spray. So once he's done and the part is ready and trimmed correctly, it will go into our paint boot and then I'll get a protection of clear. Uh, and one thing about carbon that you should know when you're doing carbon or working with carbon, rock carbon does not have a UV protection. So if you put it out in the sun and it gets around UV, it does yellow very quickly. Uh, so you do want to get it into the paint booth pretty quick and get a protection uh, coat on it. Jose, how's this looking? Uh, pretty good. Yeah? Got to be done with it so it can get sprayed all over. Yeah, could I pick it up? Yeah, go for it. So guys, like we said, 32 pounds, the whole rear of the Eleanor. Okay. Even I can pick it up. Thanks, Jose. Yes, sir. Here we go. Get those parts ready. Then we'll go into our paint boot, and then it's uh, all going on a car or ready to ship to a customer. Uh, if you guys have any questions about our process of carbon or you want to learn how we do it, uh, put it in the comment and we'll get back to you guys, all right? Thanks, guys, for watching. We appreciate it.